Welcome, FOH. This week we're doing the La Flor de Cano Grandioso, which is the exclusive Asia Pacifico, which is PCC Asia Pacific for 2013. ROC, May 13, they were box. They are so young, mate, there, it's almost a crime. Because you know what we say about PCC regionals, that they, they, do need, there, time. they need time. Mm. So Let's see. What can, can you bring a decent cigar? Mate, this has been the hottest cigar, the hottest regional we've ever sold. At least if it's crap, it's short. Well, it's actually, it's uh, Edmundo size. It's no, not a short no. cigar, it's a good size. No, it's a good a, size I, cigar. I did ask him why he didn't bring a, uh, a big cigar, uh, did he bring me a good cigar outside? No, just this. Oh. First of all, how's the constr overall construction? Looks very good. Because I know Greg from Cigar Aficionado wants to know. Um, Who's Greg from Cigar Aficionado? He's trying to bag me mercilessly. Oh, is this, because I've missed all this. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, it's like being hit, hit by a wet lettuce leaf. <laughs> is Greg a writer or a forum member? Oh, it's the tosser. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> well, it's not mutually exclusive. So, <laughs> well, that's a big club. The aroma are cold. It's actually quite gorgeous. It is. It's quite... Mm. It's quite gorgeous. It's that when you're a kid and you got that brand new football, and had that sort of... You know, you've used it once, that leathery, earthy smell. Someone took it off you? No one ever took my football from me, thank you. And look, oh, don't take off your shirt. I'm not taking it off. I'm not taking it off. This is the shirt. That is the front page from the Washington Post the day after the Skins last won the Super Bowl. Friends in DC sent it out to me. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't that fantastic? Well, the most amazing thing is it actually sort of still fits. Um, amazing thing is you've got friends in DC, but. Um, <laughs> if we can get back. Like, I've got nothing better to do. No, you haven't. And that, I'll take you guys through yesterday's drivers, but anyway, that's beyond it. Oh, just the fact that you text me every two minutes from the Skins game yesterday. I text you twice. Skins game. Twice. So it's, it's done four hours during the day. Between here, the Skins game, Monday night football was on between, was it Monday night? Sunday. Sunday. So, so yeah, Monday here. It was 10.30, so, three hours. So, three hours. Th four during, hours. Three four hours. Three hours. During, during which time, time I had lunch. In the afternoon. During which time I had lunch. And worked my, and, and did all sorts of other stuff. Mind you, then he's texted me at 6.30, 7.30 in the evening saying he's watching no, it was, it was Bullet, than that. the movie Bullet. Actually, I was watching the last little bit of it because I'd watched most of it on the weekend. <laughs> uh, the last little bit of it. So, you know, forgive me for actually... Having a life. Of sorts. Of Riley. That's what he's got a life of. Of sorts. Of Riley. Stuff. Seriously. Draw is excellent. As of yet, it seems okay. Done. Mine's mm. excellent too. So we'll be back <laughs> really? in a couple of minutes. Don't go away. Greg, you stay right there at Cigar Fish Nut and you watch how we do this. Don't you worry. Cheers. Ken, did just the opening to the La Flor de Cano. Because we're mixing it with this, this beautiful rum, which is a... Rum that you'll be telling us about? It's just beautiful. It just It's a great match. But, uh, well, it, you, we'll get to the rums later, but uh, great match. And this is just a lovely, creamy cigar. And... The it's got depth of flavour too. Real depth of flavour, it's got some nice quality to it. Mm. You haven't had a lot of La Flor de Cano. Nah. I mean, how many, not many people have. Um, I nearly shut the door when you brought one. <laughs> Did you pick it by sight? La Flor de Cano. I think the, probably the last La Flor de Cano I had was with... Um, Greg? No. Um, before you really this badge, told me about that. Rob Fox. Oh, okay. Rob Fox. And, Who may be from uh, Ireland. And David, yeah. From uh, JJ. He Fox may know Ryan. Or, <laughs> or a different Ryan. And <laughs> we were smoking the La Flor de Cano um, UK regional, the, the Petit Robusto. And this is very similar. Okay. It, it's because it's got that, that's, that sweet, milk, creamy. But it, yeah, it's just. When I was watching nice. one of those dreadful wallaby tests recently, I, I pulled out an old um, Hoya de Montero, uh, when I say old, probably 12, 13 years, uh, double Corona. Yeah. And it was the same thing, that cream, just unbelievably cream. The first sort of two inches were just some of the most magic you could imagine. But then it sort of, it didn't change at all. It was the same, it was nothing. And that's a yeah. long smoke if there's no evolution no, or change. No, you, no. But the first couple of inches were just beautiful. And that's where the UK regional, it, it knew exactly what it was doing. It was sweet, it was creamy, milky, but I, yeah, it was just that, that, like you put two teaspoons, take a little cup of milk like that and put two or three teaspoons of sugar in there. 
and that was the flavour profile mixed with to toasted tobacco. It was just lovely. It just, and it's a very early days yet, guys, because this should age quite well over the next three to five years. But at this point, at the opening point, it's it's got the same DNA as mm. as the UK regional, and it's just a beautiful lovely, cigar so far. Beautiful. I take it all back. Um, I'd like to take my cigar back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apologize. But it matches humbly. so well with the rum. This is. I mean, and so, what do you think of the rums? I've only had the one. Well, the, that, it's, it's, uh, you couldn't ask for a better match no. between the two. It's almost uh, made for each other. Yeah. What is it? So I know. Well, you've got a... I've got... Okay, that's under, rum number one. Okay. Well, no, that's number... Uh, yes, that's rum number one. The one on your left is one. Number one's far more floral, far... Um, aromatic, if you're going to use that term. It's exactly what I thought. Floral was exactly the word I thought. More floral, a bit more citrus. Number two, I think it goes far better with number one than number two. There's not that much difference between the rums. Well, I, I, I think on the palate there is a fair bit of difference between the rums. That's got more weight and depth, and that's more... It's a sweeter rum. It seems, it seems a sweeter, sweeter rum. more floral, a little, bit, a little lighter. A little bit sharper edge on the, on the second. Mm. Still a glorious rum. Yeah. More alcohol on the nose, more alcohol on the, on the tongue. Do you want to have a crack? Mm. No, but I want to know what this number one is. They are both the Havana Club, but remember they changed labels from Selection Master A whatever to Barrel Proof? Yeah, yeah. The one on the... And I can't remember which came first. Which came, The one on the left is mine, which is the Selection Master A whatever they call it. Yeah. The one on the right, Ryan very kindly sent out, is the Barrel Proof. I'll bring out the two bottles. Oh, lovely. So they're both... Because there was a lot of talk whether they changed the style of rum when they changed the label. Yeah. And they are different. Um, definitely that floral character that comes out of that first one. Yeah. To me. I, I would have picked them as completely different rums. Yeah, well, I'll bring out the two bottles. Unfortunately... Um, what did you send Ryan in... in, 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 in? My grateful thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure they've arrived yet. Ryan, there's a reason we were, we were used as a colony. <laughs> With these. <laughs> Ken, I just want to do the first third of this because it's, as I said, it's worthwhile talking about. Um, your thoughts? I think this is just a lovely, lovely cigar. Um, it's, it's much more approachable than most of the regionals, I think, that you see. Look, a bunch of most beautiful, beautiful parrots and cockatoos just went through. Sorry. It's like working with a child. Sorry, focus. I'll give you a David Attenborough moment, and you, and you <laughs> mock David me. Attenborough. You've just told me how you, how your advice to your son when he's standing on a snake was jump. <laughs> what else you know, was? father what? of the year. <laughs> jump. He survived, right? <laughs> it's only a red belly black snake. It wasn't the most poisonous of snakes. It's certainly in the top 20. His but advice to his son? Jump as far as you can, you've got a chance. <laughs> He was 12 at the time, back of the cigar. <laughs> and Flavours you get. Well, it's still got that lovely creaminess. That, that's sort of the key flavour. And sort of that, uh, a little bit of that stone fruit cherry, but not, not that sort of apricot, no. just a little bit more cherry pit rather than um, peach or stone or apricot. Um, it's got some class. Oh, it's, just, uh, it's got real depth. Yeah. I'm just surprised it's so approachable and so lovely so young. It is... It's a seriously good cigar at this point in time. I mean, look, you can imagine this. What is this, May 13? Uh, imagine May 18. Oh, yeah. May 20. I mean, I... Uh, uh, they come in boxes of 10, guys. And the, full, the first um, our first shipment sold out. Really, if it wasn't you have any idea of pricing? No, they're not that bad. Um, Two hundred US a box, and I think they're Aussie thirty-three each. So they're not. It could they, be worse. They could be worse. Mm. Yeah, not too bad at all. Mm. But you are. Uh, that's one of the nicest cigars I've had this year. It's just a lovely, lovely cigar. Certainly one of the nicest young cigars. Oh yeah, I mean, mm. 
There's no harsh edges to it at this point. None at all. None at all. You'd, in fact, you'd sort of wonder whether they've stuffed it up and these are five years old. Trust me, they're not five years old. No. <laughs> it's a van I said, so, you <laughs> fool. I know. Well, hang on. Seriously, you reckon they haven't got stuff there that they put in a corner? Well, they do. Forgotten? No, look, the Lihero, the, look, the Lihero would be two and a half years old in this. And there, there's not much Lihero, if any, in this. It's all circle. I mean, it tastes to me like it's almost all circle. Someone's found a bunch out the back and gone, what the hell are these? Let's call them... Oh, you, hats off, whoever bled them, hats off. Yeah, absolutely. You've done a great job. See, this job. is why I'd love, I'd love to have... Here we go again. I know, I know. Here we know. go again. I know. You can cut this, Jess. Sorry. <laughs> but, but it's true, isn't it? I mean, I'd love you would to love have to know more who depth, rolled this. More depth in the classification, more depth in the understanding of what you receive. Of the top level stuff. You, you can't do it for Monty 4s and stuff. Well, but of the I, top I, level I stuff. I mean, not that I've... I mean, I've, I was in the warehouse yesterday. And all of a sudden, in the in the master cases, on the inside, as you open the master cases, on the inside of the cardboard, mm -hmm. you're seeing four names stamped on there. And I'm going to speak to Jose and see what, he, what they are. I haven't seen that. I've seen it occasionally, but now each one of these master cases had it. Now, I'm assuming it's to do with quality control and the people who put them in there. Um, but I'd like that to be yeah, the start, that's start of the process. The start of the process. It'd be nice to see. Probably the four people who tried to float away in the box. <laughs> You can cut that. <laughs> There's a serious suggestion also, if anyone from Avanos is still listening, is the bands, um, you put on Asia Pacific, put the put the year as well. Um, I think that just adds a little tiny bit, of, yeah, bit that's to it. Yeah, that's not a bad thing to do. It's my one contribution. <laughs> we'll put, put messages of help underneath the band. <laughs> Back shortly. <laughs> I'll, Possibly. Ne I'll never get a visa again. <laughs> again, again. <laughs>
however you pronounce the thing, Maestro or whatever. Pick it up anyway. Yeah. It's fantastic. Either of them. Either of them. Until next week, look forward to it. Cheers. Sorry, Jess had to um, take it from here because we haven't got our remote control, but hey, next week. Are you sure it's on? Hang on, Jess, one second. Shouldn't that be turned around anyway? Is there a red light showing that we're on? Can you Jess, see it? you've met Ken, our technical... Te you, you seriously, honestly, I look like Stephen Hawking compared to you today. I've sat here for... I've got cobwebs I've been brushing off. I've been here so long waiting for you to fiddle. He's turned up, he's lost the remote. He's then run out of batteries. This is all before we even start. We tried to work out what the flashing blue light meant. Then he found a red button. Uh, oh, it's just been special. Seriously, if this records, it will be a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone.